Hi, I'm Julie and welcome back to Plants to the Rescue. So today, if you notice the title, <laughs> I'm not feeling so great. So today's title, When You Feel Imperfect in a Perfect World, or a Seemingly Perfect World. Um, yeah, that's what this title is about. It's kind of, the whole, the whole topic that I wanted to talk about today was those seasons of your life when you feel less than at your top of your game, because that's where I'm at. I am having that kind of season and how to sit with that, how to be okay with that, how to have um, enough life experience and enough experience on like a, a, a weight loss journey um, or just a, a journey to health in general, that you know that that is part of the journey. And so that's what I want to talk about today. So I have a shaved head. I don't know if you can see it on this side. I now am sporting blackish hair, although not all of it is black anymore. Um, I'm a hot mess in my, <laughs> with my physical being right now. This year has been super challenging for me, and on top of the whole year being super challenging for me, physically, health-wise, um, this past month <laughs> has just been the straw that has broken the camel's back, so to speak. I hate using phrases like that, but anyways, I am a mess. I am the definition of a hot mess right now, and I feel every bit of that hot mess. And uh, so I'll give you a little bit of background. Um, as far as the whole food plant-based journey, my health is doing fantastic. Like as far as like cholesterol, blood pressure, um, sugar, all of those things. Like I've gotten all my blood work done multitudes of times over the past year because I do have some stuff physically going on. But as far as the whole food plant-based journey, it has done wonderful things for me as far as numbers go. I'm down over 180 pounds. I My blood pressure is like the last time I went to the doctor, it was 107 over like I think 72 or something like that. It's it's really great. My sugar number is perfect. Um, I never was pre-diabetic. I never had any issues real, really with my sugar. So blessed for that. But um, it's great. My cholesterol levels are like amazing. Just all my numbers that define how well this whole food plant-based diet is working are incredible. So I have no complaints there. However, I do have some immune things going on and I also have some serious stuff going on with my nerves, at my actual nerves in my legs. And so we're still trying to get a diagnosis for that. And it's been a year of trying to get the diagnosis. For a while, I thought I had fibromyalgia. Uh, for a while, I thought it had to do with arthritis issues. And now it seems to be that we're narrowing it down to some nerves that are not, they're not firing correctly. And so they're trying to figure out what's going on with that. But it has nothing to do with like diet related. They've checked my B12. My B12 numbers are actually like really, really high. It, it's nothing to do with diet. And my doctor is super happy about my diet, even though she is not a whole food plant-based doctor. She's still super supportive. And she's like, well, your numbers speak for themselves. So I have, I have nothing but good things to say about how you're eating and how you've lost the weight. But it's been a year. It's been a year. I've been at the doctors a lot. And so the reason that I'm uh, sporting a shaved head right now is I am having multiple cysts removed from my head just to make sure that, you know, that they are just pilar cysts and so far so good. Um, but I do have a lot and I had like a lot of cysts come out of nowhere and grow really, really quickly on top of my head. So I'm having some of those removed and they had to shave my head and I've got stitches and sutures, 14 in total right now. That happened on Wednesday. And then if you watched the video, the last grocery haul, I talked about why my hair is this color. Um, my husband thought he was doing me incredible favors and didn't want me having any more chemicals on top of my head, especially because I'm growing all kinds of lumps and bumps on my head. And there goes my window shades again. So the color is going to go crazy on this because we just can't ever get the videos good. I'm so sorry. Um, anyways, he got me henna that covered like this portion of my head. And then I ran out of enough. I, 
he got me two boxes that ended up being a minuscule amount of henna and we were going for a light brown uh, but we bought it in an Indian grocery store and their light brown is different than our light brown and now I have black bangs which my daughter said hurry go buy some vegan hair dye um, to straighten out the rest of your hair because I was sporting like dark blonde hair and black bangs for a little bit and it was pretty bad and so I went and did that but my hair does not take natural hair dye well so it's all washing out down here and turning kind of brownish reddish blondish in some areas. I have multicolored hair right now and I am 52 and not interested in having multicolor hair. Kudos to all the plus 50, you know, 50 pluses out there that love having multiple hair, hair. Like no judgment here, knock yourself out. It's just not my thing. My thing, I was trying to go naturally gray. That's where I was at and the whole reason for buying the, the henna hair dye in the first place was I had years and years of trying to uh, dye the gray out of my hair. I, I was starting to go gray kind of early and it was, it was you know, all vanity reasons and I, I just wanted to return my hair to my natural color which is a lightish brown. I've got a little red in my hair and a little natural blonde highlights but it's, it's pretty much light brown. I was trying to go back there so I could naturally go gray and it miserably backfired and now I'm kind of just stuck with this odd mismatch of hair color right now and I'm shaved and there's several more spots on my head that are going to get shaved so this is not the season to feel beautiful or even pretty or sadly attractive for me I just I'm not feeling it at all um and that's, that's okay. That's where it is. Wow, it is super dark in here right now. And there's not a whole lot. Of, there we go. It kind of did it for a second. Anyways, so that's a background on why I physically feel like I look like crap right now. And also, since I got the cyst removed and um, I like to run with my headphones and I've got sutures in there and stitches in there, 14 in total, uh, I'm not running right now, and yeah, that really sucks because running makes me feel like me, and so I'm not running right now. I'm really not getting any exercise right now, which does not add to the feelings of overall health, fitness, wellness, mental or physical, so I'm a mess. I'm a hot mess right now. I'm a little bit depressed right now. I'm a little bit stressed out right now. Um... So what do you do when you, you know, go on social media um, and you go on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and everybody that seems to be on this whole food plant-based journey just looks damn perfect and that they've got it all figured out and, you know, they're on top of the world. And what do you do when you don't feel that? I have to say the last grocery haul video that I made when I watched the playback, I didn't like what I saw and it was super, super hard for me. I felt um, thinner than what I saw in that video. I felt more uh, physically fit than what I saw in the video and that kind of didn't help and also, you know, sporting the black hair, well, black-ish hair wasn't making me feel so hot either. Um, just overall, I was like, okay, my video suck, my lighting sucks, my camera sucks, my everything sucks, and this is all I have right now. But I still really want to bring a message of health and wellness, and I feel super qualified to speak about the transformation a whole food plant-based diet can make in your life because I've lost more than, you know, many, 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 many of the people that are doing amazing um, in, in social media have lost. And, and I'm not trying to say that I've done better than them because I think if you've lost 20 pounds on a whole food plant-based diet and you kept it off and you've changed your world and you've changed you know, the health of the planet, the animals' lives, your own life, then kudos to you and you've done amazing. But I just feel like I have a message also that I want to get out there and I'm, I feel kind of defeated and kind of discouraged like I'm never going to be able to get my message out there because I just don't have what it takes. I'm too old. I'm not at goal. I still have, you know, the hanging skin and the loose skin. I just, 
just everything lately is shouting at me. Just give up, Julie. I, I'm haunted because I, I threw away my scale and now I'm like, oh no, you're gaining weight. You're gaining weight. Like I've convinced myself because I haven't run in a few days that I have now gained a ton of weight back. Like it's hard. It's hard. The The voices and the thoughts that I hear in my head, and I don't mean like voices like I'm cuckoo, my own voice that I hear in my head is self-depreciating and it's, it's not good. And so what do you do? What do you do? when everything's telling you to give up. I don't have it in me to give up anymore, frankly. For a long time I did in my life, if things were hard, I quit. And I just, I don't have that anymore. I have, it's something got turned around inside of me. I don't know exactly when it happened. I don't know when it clicked. Um, the determination to, to not give up, but it's inside of me. And so I'm going to continue making these videos, hoping that my message of being imperfectly perfect gets out there. Um, I want to speak to like the others and I don't know what I exactly mean by that, but I can tell you, I feel like I have a ministry. It's, it's, it's that passionate inside of me, a ministry deep inside of me that wants to speak to the ones that maybe don't feel like they have it all together or the ones that don't feel like maybe they are going to be able to get it all together or the ones that feel like um, maybe they don't have enough money to do the this whole food plant-based lifestyle justice and I want to prove that wrong. That's why the $100 grocery hauls are important to me um, or that they think that you know they've gone too far um, they have gained too much weight that they can't ever turn back. And I just want to, I want to bring light and life and awareness that you're never too far gone. And there's, um, there's no reason that you can't turn it around because some of us do. And some of us, um, we do it maybe not with as much style and as much, much um, material means or whatever you know I have a small budget that I'm working with and I don't have everything figured out and I don't have everything going for me but what I do have going for me is this just tenacity that I can't give up and I don't want to give up and that I have learned that this is just a bump in the road the way I'm feeling right now and that it it will pass and it does pass so I just want I just want to let you know that if you're feeling anything like I'm feeling today, which is less than my best, um, that it's going to be okay. And it's okay to sit with those feelings and it's okay to feel those feelings. Um, don't don't bury them, validate them. Make peace with them. And, and that's kind of what I'm trying to do right now is just say, "Okay, Julie, so, you know, you don't feel your absolute best, but you have felt this before and you've come out the other side. Um, I've been in deeper, darker depressions than this and I've come out the other side and the sun has come back out and it, it's going to be okay. So just keep, keep, keep going through the go through and um, stick to the things that you know work. And so that's kind of where I am. I'm like very much at the basics right now. If I get movement in a day in any way, that is a check. You know, I did it. If I'm eating my fruits and my leafy greens and, and my veggies, that's a check. If I'm getting, you know, adequate sleep, that's a check. If I am finding time to connect with another human being and I'm getting my social needs met, that's a check. If I'm getting adequate water and hydration, and that's a check. You know, it's just one foot in front of the other. And if I, you know, I'm resisting the processed food, the oils and the sugar, then that's check. And right now I'm still, all these things have been getting checked off every single day. So I know if I'm doing the right things for me and I continue doing them, that it's going to be okay. It's, it's going to be okay. And that I don't have to be perfect no matter what I see on social media perfection and this lifetime does not exist and there are things that you you don't see behind the scenes um, so 
be imperfectly perfect with me. It's okay. Be be who you are. Be who you're supposed to be. And just keep keeping on. We'll have another talk next week. And who knows? I might feel fantastic next week. We'll see. I wish you all the peace in the world. And I wish that to myself as well. Have a great day. And keep keeping on.